an authentication there that looks something like that. Um, what you need to do is, let's see, go into the registry, which I'm gonna drag over. Uh, Oops, sorry. I should have maybe had this all ready to go beforehand, but I didn't. So the background story behind this is basically Microsoft and what they've done is they released an update and that update has broken some stuff so what you need to do is go to your regist reg edit or registry if you don't know what that is then I'm probably not going to show you how to get in there because uh, for one you can wreck your whole computer so here's a disclaimer on it. If you don't know what you're doing, maybe take it to a computer guy and get him to look at it. Um, but the reality is, is uh, this is this update that it's applied is KB article. I think it was where was it? Uh, KB. Sorry guys, KB4103725 for Windows 8 and 10, KB4103727 for server 2012 and 16, and KB4103718. Um, these seem to be breaking remote desktop right now and it just seems to be happening, so not sure how, how much this is really going to come out, but I'm going to put a quick video on how to fix it so here's the uh, basically the, you're basically turning that off that feature um, but you got to go to local machine software Microsoft Windows current version policies system cred SSP parameters and then you need to create allow encryption Oracle it's just a D word. Put the value to two. Um, it just leave it on hex decimal. Hit OK. Reboot your computer, and uh, you should be able to get into remote desktop like normal. So that update seems to be killing stuff uh, as far as remote desktop goes, and this seems to fix it after the case. So. Uh, yeah, this is just I'm just throwing this out there because all of a sudden if people are like, why can't I get into my remote desktop and all that stuff? Then boom, they could just uh, call their IT guy, get their IT guy to look at this and uh, see if uh, this will fix your issue. It might not fix your issue. It might fix your issue. I don't know. Every computer is different. Every scenario is different. So as you know, in the, in the computer world, this uh, whole system is very complicated and uh, not every fix is the same for everybody but this might help out somebody and uh, that's what you need to do in registry create that entry and boom uh, in my case it worked great so uh, thanks for watching guys as always and uh, yeah hopefully uh, hopefully you're having a, a good week and uh, even better weekend cheers